What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Chikmunt. I'm a full-time clothing reseller. I specialize uh, in menswear. Yeah. Uh, here is another trip to the thrift. First things we found were these Hickey Freeman wool blazers. Uh, I was able to find two uh, right next to each other. Hickey Freeman is a older brand uh, but I decided to take a chance on them they were only 2.5 euros so why not in the jumper section uh, I was able to find a basic Barcelona Nike track jacket in a good size without any damages so I decided to, to take it everything worked no stains and uh, of the camera, I was f able to find this Gutteridge quilted nylon uh, autumn jacket, which should be a very quick sell. These quilted jackets sell quite fast, and I was very happy to find such an item. And here is a closer look on those two Hickey Freeman uh, blazer jackets. One was in a khaki green, and one was black. Moving on to another thrift store. One of the first items we came across was this heavy cotton uh, uh, Rumford blazer jacket. The brand is not quite desirable, but uh, I decided to take it. Here is a interesting find. It was a Paolo Pecora Milano a blazer jacket uh, first of all I didn't want to take it but I decided that you know, what the hell let's do it it was a cotton linen blend with one button and we'll see how we'll, how it will do uh, this was uh, huh. quite good find it was a FUBU Y2K vintage t-shirt in size 2XL with an interesting 3D print in the shirt section uh, we came across a Gantt pure linen short sleeve shirt. It was uh, a very nice pattern with quite fresh colors and a true religion uh, flannel shirt in a size XL. And one of the last shirts was a Barba uh, formal, formal shirt. Small recap of the old items I found in the thrift store. And uh, should be moving on to the next one. All right, moving on. Hey, no. It was quite cramped and packed, so it was very hard to uh, film anything. So here is uh, the end recap of everything I got. Uh, it was this Aeronautica Militare. Uh, Trousers, a Lacoste polo shirt, Daniel. Uh, Dunhill, again a polo shirt, yeah, Dunhill. a Eintracht Frankfurt okay, football shirt, Boggy Milano a long sleeve Bogi. cotton shirt, uh, Corneliani cotton shirt, and a Hugo Boss uh, nylon jacket, another Nardelli blazer jacket, and a Corneliani, I want to say blazer jacket, but it had buttons all the way to the top, so some kind of a jacket, and a Portugal uh, training top from the around year 2004. Moving on to another shop. Uh, in this one, we were only able to find one thing, and it was this uh, Baldessarini long sleeve cotton white shirt. High quality cotton, very soft, and should be an easy sell. These white shirts usually have some stains, but this had none of it. So it was automatic pickup. Moving on 
and this thrift store the first thing we came across was a vintage uh, Canterbury Australia rugby uh, shirt or polo shirt a uh, Aspesi bomber nylon jacket Aspesi is a great brand very high quality very soft nylon and they sell all the time when I find them Other items we were able to find was another Aspesi a long sleeve cotton shirt. And here is me just double checking everything before I go to pay. Alright, moving on to the next one. The first thing we came across was a Fred Perry long sleeve polo shirt. Here it is in a size small. And right next to it was a vintage template shirt with uh, steel tags on it. These template shirts are quite desirable and they usually sell them, but this one had a uh, name print on the back, uh, which was a famous Italian goalkeeper, but I don't think this was a some kind of a team football shirt. It was just randomly put on this template one. All right, moving to the next one. We were able to find quite a lot of things in this one, uh, starting off with uh, Ermenegildo Zegna Pure Cashmere uh, blazer jacket. It was vintage from 2005, but doesn't matter, the cashmere was spotless and super soft. And for 2 euros, you can go, can't go wrong with, uh, with Ermenegildo Zegna. Next item. Right next to it was a Eduard Dressler jacket with Loropiana tweed wool fabric. Loropiana, uh, one of the best uh, fabrics that you can find and it should be a, a good sell. Another blazer, it was from a brand called Jean Paul Germain. It was pure linen and interesting pattern, so I decided to take a chance on it uh, since it was only 2 euros. Here we found another Ermenegildo oh, Zegna blazer jacket. I believe this was just wool oh, or yeah. wool blend because all these uh, blazers mm. I found were uh, bespoke. So they were made to measure uh, a certain individual. Here is a Sturmgratz vintage football shirt from the season 2000 and 2001 and a weight kit with uh, some kind of a player on the back should be uh, easy to sell a Haglov outdoor uh, basic cotton shirt and also we were able to find a suit supply cotton two ply cotton uh, long sleeve shirt so very nice very nice uh, pickup alongside with other items Here's a small recap, also a Sergio Tacchini tennis shirt. This Haglovs was actually a sample, so I believe it was not released as an official product, but it was not anything anything special, just, just a plain t-shirt. And here are the Ermene Gildo Zegna jackets and other jackets. Also a closer look to the Sturmgratz football shirts with uh, Masudi on the back. Alright, uh, we are moving to uh, the final thrift store of this video and we found again a lot of things starting off with vintage YSL polo shirt, then a vintage 1995 uh, cycling shirt. But the best items should come in uh, in a short while. Meanwhile, we found a North Face polo shirt, and here is one of the first things. It was CP Company uh, cotton vintage jacket, and right behind it was a Stone Island vintage uh, jacket with hole on the back. But it doesn't matter. I was very excited. I had to announce 
my excitement to my to my girlfriend the video and I was I was quite pleased with all these finds here's a closer look to the CP company it was flawless but it was a little older hopefully it will sell quickly and here is the stone island uh, jacket uh, by doing some research uh, I was able to find out that it is from the year 2006 it had the proper tags the proper zippers and it was in a size large sadly it had a had a, a hole on the back but it was nothing it can be easily repaired but I will sell it with the hole here we are just discussing if it's not uh, women's or if it's men's but uh, it was men's size large it actually fit me but it's not my style so I rather have the money we were able to find a uh, pair of Carhartt denim shorts uh, and other pieces of clothing like face shorts and uh, that's going to be everything for this video thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next one and uh, take care